Okay, so when I do my deep like hair moisturizing, my scalp moisturizing, it's when I first come out the shower because my hair is freshly washed. And I'm just like, okay, this is when I'm most attentive to my hair, so might as well. I oil my scalp and I moisturize my hair while doing it. And I do recommend everyone doing that as well. Like the best time that I personally think for you to do like a deep hair moisturizing and scalp moisturizing is when you first, like after you wash your hair. Now you can choose to do it when your hair is still wet or you can choose to make your hair dry. Now my hair is semi wet. Okay, it's kind of still wet. So I do like a really simple hair moisturizing when my hair is dry and that's like later on in the week. And then I just lightly put hair oil in my hair. That's literally the only thing that I do. But when it comes to deep, I'm gonna show you all how to moisturize your hair, how to moisturize your scalp. Doing this will promote hair growth because your hair is gonna be moisturized and healthy and that's what you want when it comes to your hair. You don't really want it to be looking dry. I noticed from my experience that when I don't oil my scalp, my scalp is very dry and flaky and it just has dandruff and it's just not a good look. What I use for moisture is a castor oil and I love castor oil. I love any type of hair oil. I've shown on my channel like probably two, three different types of hair oils that I use. I don't have a preference. I just use anything that is thick because my hair is very thick so I like to put in thick hair oils. And I like a paste consistency for my hair oil. So as you can see, this is a paste consistency. I try to make my hair use as minimal amount of products as it can. I try not to have a lot of products in my hair. So for my minimal, natural, and healthy hair routine on how I moisturize my hair and moisturize my scalp, it's with just using hair oil. Use any type of hair oil that you have. This is just the only one I have at my house, so that's what I'm using. Okay, the first thing that I do, I grab hair oil, and I put it on my head, and I just rub it in my like this, and I lightly just put my hands through my hair. So just at the back like this. So the reason why I just go over my hair once, well the outside late parts of my hair once, is just to get me ready <laughs> for this. I'm going to only show you all how I moisturize my hair just in a little portion because this deep method of moisturizing your scalp and your hair does take a while. So I would recommend you doing this method when you're watching TV. You can just sit there and just do your hair. So you want to go get a, get a comb. It doesn't matter which comb that you have. I love, I love... I love my wide tooth comb, so I always use my wide tooth comb for everything unless I really do need precision in my hair when I'm doing it. Then I'll use a smaller tooth comb. What I do first is part my hair in four. It just tells my mind and it gives me the illusion that I have, I have less hair to deal with. So part your hair. When I part my hair in the middle, I go in with my hair oil. What I do, put the hair oil on one finger and you just wanna bring the hair oil down on the parting that separates your hair. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just go in on the parting and go all the way down. Usually I would part my hair in four, but since I'm just going to only show you one side, I'm just going to put up this side of my hair. So basically the technique and method to concentrate on your scalp, all you're going to do is part your hair, comb it out like we always do. Make sure you always comb out your hair. And then, well, if your hair is already combed out, then you don't have to, but all you have to do, put the hair oil on your scalp and the rest of the hair oil that's on my hand, I'll just put it on in my hair like that. And then I go through, sometimes I don't even use a comb, I just use my hands. And then you do the same thing again. So finger on here. So basically we're concentrating the hair oil on our scalp and then whatever excess amount that we have on our hand if it's a, it has to be a little bit because you don't really want your hair too greasy well i don't mind my hair greasy when it comes to hair oil for the other sections so you part comb and then you apply the hair oil okay so i'm just going to finish up with oiling my scalp on for the rest of my hair and then i'm going to come back Look at my hair! Oh, I love this. It makes me feel like I'm in the, I'm in like the 60s with an afro. 
So what we're gonna do now is we're going to lightly take the hair oil on your fingers and we're going to rub it on our hands again. And we're just gonna distribute it around our hair. And we're just gonna do it lightly. So that's how you basically moisturize your hair in an intensified way. So you really want to do this method once, only right after you finish washing your hair as I would recommend. And the moisture on your scalp should last you for a long time. And you won't have to do it again until you wash your hair again. And however, when it comes to adding moisture to your hair onto your head very lightly, you want to do that every other day, every probably three days. You just want to lightly put hair oil all over your hair. Make sure you add some at the ends of your hair as well so that they don't break off and they're not dry and brittle. So that's it for today's video. I hope you all can at least get one thing out of how to moisturize your hair, how to oil your scalp so it can promote healthier, longer hair. So make sure you all subscribe, thumbs up this video, and I'll see you all in my next video. Au revoir. Bye, but here's some more videos if you want to watch.